All right, black and white sports supporters. Well, I was uploading another Joe Burrow video when this news broke. I'm putting this at the beginning of this video before the even before the title even comes on or before the intro comes on because it's breaking news. This is just in. I'm sure it's related to the wrist, but Joe Burrow is out for the remainder of the season. Jake Browning now takes over as the Bengals starting quarterback. Quote, the season is far from over, Bengals head coach Zach Taylor said. And, yeah, as Adam Schefter just points out right here, uh, Deshaun Watson, Joe Burrow, all gone in less than a week. Just since Sunday to now, they're both gone. And trust me, this whole video is about Joe Burrow and the NFL and the investigation. But I saw this, I'm putting it at the beginning, and now roll the rest of the video. You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no-holds-barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, do you remember when I have repeatedly said eventually something will knock the NFL off of its its highest rating perch, where it's the number one sport in the, in the country. All these kind of things. Something would happen. There would be a scandal. You know, there would be something involving gambling. Something would happen. I've said this before. I remember I grew up in a time where Major League Baseball dominated the ratings, not the NFL. The NBA was much, much higher in ratings Something was going to happen that would tarnish the NFL in my lifetime, okay? I hope I live another 30 years. But the point is, something would take down the NFL. Well, last night, there was a very, very big Thursday night football game involving the Ravens and the Bengals. Joe Burrow got injured, unless he was already injured. And there's a lot of people talking about this today. And I don't know if it is in jest. I feel like it's just Dave Portnoy, the owner of Barstool Sports, sending the NFL and the Bengals a warning shot. But boy, this is getting interesting. The NFL is investigating the Bengals for handling of Joe Burrow's injury. And what is the controversy here? When was he injured? Was he injured? Was he hurt coming into this game? Because you know what that does? If you didn't disclose it, it affects millions upon millions of dollars that were betted. By the way, the NFL, hell, even ESPN, some of these places are fully embedded with gambling now and it's a problem all right i mean look the Bengals could certainly have a case to say they were getting screwed by the nfl last year during that old demar hamlin situation we covered that ourselves the nfl is investigating whether the Bengals failed to disclose joe burrow's injury prior to their game against the baltimore ravens on thursday night Guys, I've got pictures. I've got a video. Holy crap. This is a big deal. Burrow exited the Bengals' 34-20 loss midway through the second quarter with a wrist injury. Head coach Zach Taylor said the quarterback suffered a sprain after he fell on his hand and then experienced pain when throwing a touchdown pass to Joe Mixon. Prior to the game, a video that was posted on one of the Bengals' social media accounts showed Burrow wearing some kind of a brace on his right hand. The team has deleted the video after fans began speculating that Burrow was dealing with an injury. The problem for the Bengals is that Burrow was not listed on the injury report. And now the, NF, the NFL is investigating. The NFL, this is Adam Schefter, is investigating why the Bengals did not list Quarterback Joe Burrow on their injury report when the team posted a picture of him wearing a device on his wrist Wednesday night and he appeared to be hampered 
by the injury early in the Thursday night game that he later left, the league confirmed today. The initial picture of Burrow wearing a device that looked like a soft cast on his thumb was posted by the Bengals and was deleted later. The NFL routinely looks into matters of compliance with the injury report and will do so in this instance as well. Teams can be fined or potentially lose a draft pick. Okay, well, this is very interesting and a lot of heavy hitters are weighing in on this. Here is a picture right here of Joe Burrow wearing that right there on his hand. All right, it goes even further than that. This is WCPO 9, ABC 9. I I would assume this is a Baltimore station. Oh, it is, from Baltimore, Maryland. Let's look at this because clearly this shows him with something on his hand. Here he comes. There it is, right there. This is prior to the game. Okay? Now, a lot of people are saying, okay, well, this is some kind of ergonomic device. Mm, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to satisfy the masses on this situation at all. Now, (laughs) one of the biggest and most notorious gamblers out there, Dave Portnoy, and I do believe this is in part in jest, I assume, I promise you, if he really is filing a lawsuit against the Bengals in the NFL, that's going to be a video coming this way. I'm filing a class action lawsuit against the Bengals and the NFL for lying about the injury report. There is no shot I put 100000 bucks hard-earned dollars on the Bengals if I knew Joe Burrow was injured going into the game. This committee owes me an apology. Okay, that's where it seems to turn into a joke. But he's not wrong. I, I can tell you, this is going to be the slippery slope that the NFL is getting itself in for the integrity of gambling. This is where we are, folks. I've talked about something is going to ding, put a chink in the armor for the NFL. And, you know, teams love to play with their injury reports. That's a thing that happens. Okay? Because they don't want the other team to know, oh, hey, Joe Burrow's got a bad wrist, whatever. We're going to zero in on him. I mean, the fact is, these days, I, I don't know how that happens because it seems like nothing the passer is called every every single week now. There are some most ridiculous let's protect all quarterback calls in, in the league that gives them a black eye every single week. But they want the quarterbacks playing because the quarterbacks equal ratings. All right? But when you start talking about integrity of the game as related to millions upon millions upon millions of dollars that was wagered just on this game, I guarantee you, legal book bookies and illegal bookies did massive amounts of business on what was arguably coming into the game, what, outside of Chiefs-Lions first week opening night? This is a division rivalry game. The Bengals are surging. They're surging. Joe Burrow, we thought, was healthy. They're surging, getting ready. The Ravens look like arguably one of the top two to three to four teams in all the NFL right now. And I understand they just dropped a close one to the the Browns and all that, but they have looked really good. I mean, division rivalry game, Thursday night football. And this is what we're talking about the next day. By the way, Mark Andrews out for the year. One of the best tight ends in all of football, out for the year. Lamar Jackson's favorite target, out for the year. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's talking about that. Everybody's talking about, I mean, wrist gate today. I mean, whoa. Whoa. 
if you think this isn't getting, I mean, that Dan Patrick video has been up 30 minutes. It's got 18,000 views on it. Dave Portnoy's post from um, just a couple of hours ago has 2 million views on it. Adam Schefter uh, about the NFL investigating has got 8.5 million views on it right now. Somewhere, Roger Goodell is squirming. Because, look, even if Dave Portnoy is kidding, which he probably is, he's sending a message to the NFL. Because if they find out something like this happens, and a team did hide an injury, there's going to be a lot of lawsuits just like the one Dave Portnoy just talked about against the NFL and against the Bengals or whoever ends up being caught in one of these things. Yeah, this is, guys, this is a big story. It's a big story, and it's going to be interesting to see where does it go from here. We'll keep up on it, I promise. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.